Hey guys, Perez here. This is the exit ticket video, module five, lesson four, the area of all triangles using height and base. Uh, so just a quick reminder, this exit ticket video should be one of the last parts of this lesson. If you're watching this video and you have not watched the lesson video, please go back to the lesson video, uh, get your workbook pages out or your notebook out uh, and be writing notes, please. Uh, this video is only for after you have tried the exit ticket on your own. Uh, you should print out the exit ticket or once again, use your notebook uh, so that you can be completing uh, this page right here. As you can see on the screen, uh, these are the three problems you will be working on. Do them on paper first. Uh, after you do them on paper, go to the Google Classroom assignment, submit your answers. Uh, and hopefully you put in the work ahead of time so that you can get the correct answers. Um, also watching this video will support you with getting the correct answers. Uh, but if you don't try it on your own, you're learning nothing. So please try it first and then watch this video uh, so that you can get support on whether your answers are right or wrong. Uh, question number one, triangle, find the area, simple. We're always gonna be using this formula Area equals base times height divided by two. Just like a rectangle, cut in half. Uh, so the base of this triangle is 16.8. The height of this triangle is 12.6. 21, that's called the hypotenuse, but we don't need it to find the area. So the area of this triangle will be multiplying 16.8 by 12.6, and then whatever you get, you're gonna divide by two. Use your calculator, please. Use a calculator. Your computer should have one. Your phone has one. Use a calculator. 16.8 multiplied by 12.6 divided by 2. And really simple, just like that, I got an answer. 105.84 centimeters squared. Please make sure you include the decimals if there are decimals in your answer. Question number two. This one is a little bit different type of triangle. This is a number one was a right triangle. This is an acute triangle and what you notice is we actually have a left triangle and a right triangle so i could technically i could find the area of this triangle first using a base of 20 and a height of 15 and then i could find the area of this triangle separately using the base of 8 and a height of 15 um, but instead of treating them like two separate triangles uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat it like one nice big triangle. So instead of the left triangle and the right triangle, I'm going to treat it like one big triangle. As you can see, solid lines surround it. We're talking about this whole shape. And how do I do it as one? Well, I simply add these two numbers together and my base is actually going to be 28. So using the formula, area equals base times height, 28 is the base. The height is 15. Notice that 17 and 25 are not needed. Don't forget to divide by two. 28 times 15 divided by two. The answer, use your calculator guys, 210 inches squared. There we go. One more question, and this is now an obtuse triangle and it appears that the height is outside of the triangle. That's okay, the height is here, the base is here. There's only two numbers, this one's hard to get tricked by, uh, but we have this triangle. Remember, we're only finding the area of this triangle. I don't need that dotted, dotted lines are just there to help guide me to the height, which is 21. Area equals base times height divided by two. Base, height, divide it by two, right? And then I'm gonna do some mental math. I did this uh, on the lesson page, on the lesson video. I'm gonna take these two numbers and divide by two. 12 divided by two is six, so I end up getting 21 times six, and without having to use a calculator, I know how to do this. Six times two is 12, so 120 technically, and then six times one is six, 126 feet squared. Of course, if that mental math doesn't work for you, Go ahead and use a calculator, no big deal. All right, there you go. Uh, this is the exit ticket. Uh, you should be checking to see how you did. If you performed poorly, why? What did you do wrong? What mistakes did you make? Uh, your job is to try to figure out why you struggled. If you did well, cool. Think about the things that you did well so that you can replicate that in the future, right? Uh, hopefully, 
Uh, I don't have to, uh, hopefully I don't make any more mistakes with these videos. Uh, the previous version of this video had no sound, but uh, hopefully this one works out just fine. So good luck guys.